hello students so we are starting with a new topic so previous class we have done with the maculus method okay now we are going to start with a new method that is moment area method okay so how do we calculate slope and deflection uh, for a particular beam using moment area method okay so here in this Uh, topic. Let us consider this diagram. So we are. I am drawing a, a some part of the beam. Now this particular figure it shows a beam AB carrying some type of load loading. Okay, it it is showing a beam AB beam AB which is carrying some type of loading. It can be a point load or UDL or mixed. and because of this loading this particular beam will be subjected to bending moment okay so because of this particular loading it will be it will bend just see how it bend okay so it will bend like this now let us consider let us this part okay this is a beam it is deflecting like this because of the moment uh, because of whatever loading it is deflecting like this trying to draw a thicker line here okay and this is the deflection this particular part it is nothing but deflection so let us call it as y this is end a this is ab so this is the deflected shape okay now uh, let the beam bend into this part so let us uh, if i just project it like this here and if i project this loading here in this part and if i join these two lines Let us call it, uh, call it as O, and here it is the angle d theta. This is this P Q. This loading. Let us project it as P one and Q one. Now, when we draw tangent at point P one. It is C point. Let us call it as C. And when we draw tangent at point, this small one is D one. Okay. Now, actually, this is some beam with some load. Because of load, it is bending like this. Okay. Now, this bending. Ah, uh, what we are doing this for this particular curve. Okay. Ah, uh, what we are considering that. Ah, uh, because of this bending moment, whatever is shown. So let the beam bend into a shape of A Q one P one B. Okay. So this is the shape A Q one P one B. This is the shape where it is bending. Now due to the load acting on the beam, let A be a point of zero uh, slope and zero deflection. Okay. So at this point, there is no slope and deflection. So here there is zero slope and zero deflection. Now consider an element. pq okay small element or uh, pq let us consider that, uh, that element it is let us consider it is of length small length so we will call it as dx okay and it is at a distance x from the point b it is at a distance x from the point b okay now uh, the corresponding points on the deflected beam are okay so corresponding points are p1 and q1 when you project them So for the deflected beam, corresponding points are P one and Q one. Now let R be the radius of curvature. Okay, let R be the radius of curvature of deflected part P one and Q one. Let d theta be the angle subtended by the d theta be the angle subtended by uh, by the uh, arc P one Q one. Okay, so this is the angle d theta, and let M is the bending moment between P and Q. 
and P1C, okay, P1C, it is a tangent at point P1 and Q1, uh, Q1D is a tangent at point Q1, okay. Now, the tangent at P1 and Q1 are cutting the vertical line through B at points C and D, okay. So, if this tangents when they are touching at this point, so they are touching at point C and D respectively. Now, the angle between the normals at P1 and Q1 will be equal to the angle between the tangents P1 and Q1. Okay, the, so this angle will be same. Hence, the angle between the lines CP1 and DQ1 will be equal to D theta. Hence, the angle between the CP1 and or DQ1, it will be angle D theta. So, this angle will also be D theta, the small angle over here. Now, for the deflected part, now for the deflected part P1 and Q1 of the beam, okay. Now, if you see this deflected shape, for the P1 and Q1 of the beam, we can write P1 Q1 is equal to R into D theta. We know this, right. So, P1 and Q1, we can write it as R into D theta, okay. Uh, but we also know that P1 and Q1 is equal to this small length dx. But we know that P1 and Q1 is equal to dx. So, we can write P1, Q1, P1, Q1. So, we can simply write dx is equal to R into d theta. So, or we can write d theta is equal to dx by R. Okay. But for this loaded beam, we know the equation uh, where we have in your our, uh, bending equation, we have studied in previous class m by i equals to e by r or this radius of curvature we can write like e i by e. Now, uh, let us name this equation d theta equals to dx by r. Let us name it as equation number 1 and uh, substitute this value of r in equation 1. Okay, when we substitute this r here, so we get d theta is equal to dx by e i by m. Okay. So, m into dx by e i. So, this makes, let us write it as equation number 2. Now, since the slope at point A for this particular point is assumed as 0 here, hence the total slope at B is obtained by integrating uh, this above equation. Okay. When we integrate the above equation, between the limits 0 to L. Okay, slope here anyways it is 0 uh, at this point. So, for B when we want to calculate uh, what is the uh, total slope at point B. So, this we can calculate when we integrate this above this particular equation uh, with the limits of 0 to L. So, we can write it as Okay, but m of dx, now this particular m of dx, it represents the area of bending moment diagram. Okay, m of dx, it represents the area of bending moment diagram of length dx. Hence, this particular part 0 to hell m of dx represents the area of bending moment diagram between a, b. This is very important what I am uh, saying just now. Okay, whereas... This is for AB, uh, this is particular part small uh, distance, right? So, M of dx, 0 to L M of dx represents the area of, area of bending moment diagram between A and B. Okay, so we can write the same, this equation as theta is equal to 1 by EI into area of area of bending moment diagram between A and B. So, this is your formula for slope. So, we can, uh, but theta is equal to slope, right? So, theta is equal to slope at B. So, we can write it as theta B 
theta is equal to slope over d. So theta b is equal to, so this is our formula. Area of bending moment diagram between a and b, a and b divided by e i. Okay, so with this we 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 got the slope at e. Now once we get the slope, so we know that slope at a. Uh, uh, was zero here, so we have calculated what is uh, slope at B. Now, if the slope at A is not zero, then uh, what we can write? Okay, if slope at A is not zero, for this particular case, slope was zero. Now, if slope at A, if it is not zero, then note, note that uh, in that case when there it is not zero, then we have to calculate the difference. Okay. The total change of slope between B and A is equal to the area of bending moment diagram between B and A divided by the flexural rigidity Er. So I will uh, write down in a uh, formula term. So we will get the change in slope. So that is nothing but area of bending moment between A and B. between A and B divided by E R. Now the deflection, okay, so we have done with the slope. Now the deflection due to the bending of portion P1, Q1, okay, now the deflection, we have done with the slope, now deflection due to bending, deflection due to bending of portion P1, Q1. So we can write it as dy is equal to x d theta. And when we substitute this value of d theta in equation number 2. If you remember equation number 2. Okay, d theta equals to uh, dx by e i by m m dx by e i. So d, when dy is equal to x d theta. Okay, so substitute x uh, substitute value of d theta in equation 2. So we can write it as dy is equal to x into m of dx by ei. Now since deflection at a is assumed as 0, hence the total deflection at b is obtained by integrating the above equation between the limits 0 and l. So because for a we have considered 0 deflection. So uh, for this deflection at b, how we will calculate? Simply considering the limits between 0 to L. So we will write deflection is equal to limits between 0 to L x into m dx by ei. Now x into m dx it represents the moment of area of the bending moment diagram. Okay this particular part it represents the moment of area moment of area of bending moment diagram of length dx and it is about point b okay so uh, 0 to l x m dx represents the moment of area of bending moment diagram between b and a about b and this is equal to the total area of bending moment diagram between b and a multiplied by the distance of cg of the bending moment diagram uh, area from b so we can write this particular equation as y is equal to 1 by e i into a into x bar ok so we arrive at simple equation a into x bar divided by e i ok whereas a is a area of bending moment diagram between a and b whereas a is area of bending moment diagram between
between A and B. And X bar is a CG distance, distance of CG of the area. Distance of CG of the area. of the area A from B. Okay, so finally in this particular moment area method, how do we calculate slope and deflection? So we arrive at simple formula. Okay, uh, we have got uh, y is equal to ax bar by ei and we got the slope equation as theta is equal to area of bending moment diagram that is a by e i right area of bending moment diagram between a and b by e i so theta is equal to a by e i and y is equal to a into x bar by e i so slope is uh, a by e i and deflection is a into x bar by e i okay so remember these two simple formulas so this is uh, the uh, moment area method so next uh, how to consider next uh, class we are going to see how to consider the small concept you know uh, how do we consider the cg distance so that concept more theorem we are going to cover in next class